All right, Anton Segner came all the way from Frankfurt to Nelson when he was 15 Woo, years yeah. old. Yeah, your hometown. <laughs> Five years later, he's in the blues. This Frankfurter has been cooking. Yeah, he's keen as mustard and busting his bums to succeed. And we sent our German affairs reporter, Josh Kronfeld, to meet Anton and his father, Tim. We don't, do we have one? <laughs> du bist ein großer Joa. Junge. Junge. Yeah. Just, you're a big boy. You're a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm a German needs work. But as a Kronfeld, I'm of German descent and I'm curious. How does a, a German boy end up playing in New Zealand rugby? He went to an international school, Anton, yeah. and he had his friends there from England. Yeah. And he went there for a play date in one afternoon and they got bored. And so the English boy said, let's play some rugby. Did a few run it straights, fell in love with the contact or the physicality aspect of the game and then went to the local club where I met the Kiwi coaches who then put the idea in my head to come over here. Pull up, pull up in the German. Anton went to Nelson College, became an open side flanker and captained the first 15. Anton Sagnar, the captain of Nelson on the return. What about that run? He was a soccer player, football, but it was clear from the start that rugby was his jam. He quit soccer and after four weeks being in the training, they told him, you go with us to the German Championship because you are big, tall, we need guys like you here. And when Anton became a Markle man for Tasman, his family watched from Frankfurt. I got up at three, at four at night to see him playing rugby when he was on Sky. And when Anton's parents touched down in New Zealand this month, it was emotion. It's wonderful to see Anton, it's wonderful to be in New Zealand, very friendly people. I don't want to go home on Sunday, but I have to. <laughs> It must seem crazy growing up watching the footy that you saw and then ending up in one of these franchises. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and still, every day I have to pinch myself training these people like Bowden Barrett and their, and, and their Ioani brothers and stuff, which back in Germany as a nine year old, I was watching YouTube videos of them doing the haka. And if you're out there training with them, there's no time to sort of be gazing at them a bit because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a fast game and you just want to stay on top of it and not get left behind those guys. Are you a genuine Blues supporter? That's a big thing who you're supporting in, in New Zealand. I'm the president of the first Blue Supporter Club in Germany. <laughs> I mean, we have one member so far, but... <laughs> Who says Germans aren't funny? But what about being so far away from your son? <laughs> we came here and see that he feels so comfortable. He loves his teammates and the people in New Zealand. He had a nice, very nice girlfriend. So to see this, we have not a problem at all. We'll look after him, Tim. He's in Seth Hans. Josh Cronfeld, Creel Goes Vault.